Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Blight Dream. Previously, we saw some more backstories on some of our main characters as we get closer to solving the mystery of what happened to us one year ago. Let's throw my thoughts. The bedroom key in my pocket. I should be able to enter that room with this. It might hold a clue to my memories, so I think it's worth investigating. Oh god! You should stay put in your room today. Um... I said, stay put in your room today. Alright, fine. You, what in the world is this? If I can't even leave my room, there's no chance of reaching the bedroom. What should I do? Peek outside. There's no one on the balcony. The flowers have been replaced! Were these flowers always here? Damn, he's, he was furrow. I made it to the living room at least. But still, the bedroom is down the hall. I'll have to pass by you at some point. Is there anything in the living room that can use to lower his guard? Encounter. Cook. Be a good... Be a good emoto. I know, if I start cooking here, and say I just pass you by. Not if he's like sitting on the door, just like capping out. I feel like he'd be like, Oh, I don't think you passed by me. It hurts a little, but... I can't think of any other believable excuses. And also, he doesn't have any cooking skill. He wouldn't force me back to my room if I was in the middle of this, right? That's actually pretty smart. So if this goes well, it could buy me some time. It feels like making this choice might advance the story in a big way. Start cooking. It's kind of like a persona thing. Like, doing this might approve your social link. Just let the oven, I guess? Michiro! Where'd you come from? Why are you here? What are you so flustered about? As you can see, I'm just cooking. When did you start doing that? I don't know, a while ago? I guess we just passed each other. Ah, oh uh, well. I can make it, so you should go back to your room. What are you talking about? I'm already in the middle of it, so just let me do it today. Um, right. Sorry. It looks like he won't force me to stop. This is my chance. If I can just get you away from here, I can investigate the bedroom. Say I'm out shopping. Hey, you! Can you go buy me some soy sauce? Can you get it for me? <laughs> I want to use it in this, but I don't have enough. If there's not enough soy sauce, that's no big deal. It's a big deal. You just don't know because you don't cook. It actually is, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm agreeing with her. I know it's a lie, but I'm still agreeing with her. But... What? It's just a trip to the supermarket, right? I have my hands full here. And I know you can't take my place. Or is there some reason why you have to stay here and watch me? Hmm? Use acting suspicious. What are you talking about, Michiro? There'd be no reason for that. Boy, you're strange. I got it. Soy sauce, eh? I'll get it for you. Right away. So you just keep on cooking. Stay right there. Yeah, that's right. Keep on walking, buddy. Looks like it worked. Anakon, I've infiltrated the living room. Convincing mission. But I'm sure we'll come back quickly. Now is my only opportunity. I'll investigate the bedroom. I'm sure there's a piece of my memory there. Better open to save again. Oh, 
Let's go. It was our parents' bedroom, but now it's just an unused room. Go inside? Yeah. Seems normal enough. Our parents' belongings are neatly arranged inside. The clock quietly keeps time. The closet handles don't have much dust on them. Someone's been opening it. Once you open it, there's no turning back. Still open the closet. There's nothing there. There's nothing inside the closet. Oh no, he's behind me, isn't he? Wait, no? Except for... Sitting unnaturally at the bottom, a dull-bladed, rusty fruit knife. This knife... I've seen it. The rusty fruit knife memory is shown. This knife was... One month ago, Mashiba Hospital. Because you're gonna text it all blood red, and this is not a good sign. Maybe we were the bad ones, who knows, let's see. The sorrow of loss is an internal poison which stays with people forever. I see. If my mind can't remember the days, the people, I can just etch them in. Not into any notebook. But to myself, with poison. It seems like a touching moment, but I have a very bad feeling. Single murders are scary stuff. Take people dead in just a few days. Our eyes look pretty dead, but maybe they're always that way. And of all people, Takanashi and that Peter Hinohara, people we know are getting killed. I just don't know what's going on. Oh no. It was us, wasn't it? You gotta be careful. I mean it. This hospital might be bad news. Michiru, you listening? Mirai. Oh no. I'll never forget them. Miss Takanashi or Mr. Hinohara. Yeah, you got it all in that notebook. No, not like that. That's the opening cutscene. That's why I said, this way you'll be with me forever. The two of them live on in my heart as a poison I'll never heal. I realized something. Oh yeah, those are dead eyes. There was a way not to forget people, even without my notebook. So I'm not scared anymore. I don't have to fear losing my notebook now. That painting, Blight, taught me that. Oh god. How the sorrow of loss is in a poison that stays with people forever. You... That's right. The hole in my heart condemns me. We were the Yandere all along. What a twist! The eyes that looked at me won't it leave my head. The voices screaming at me, I'll always hear. The feelings of their lives draining stays on me. Why did it come to this? Is there no going back? Those regrets torture me. I'm crying every night. Miss Takanashi and Mr. Hinohara won't come back. It hurts so much. It's no longer just memory, I'm sure. It's drama. It won't leave my mind after a night's sleep. I want to throw up. I want it erased. I want to go back to the past and undo it. Each time, I truly feel it. Yes. These people... They're living on in me, as poison.
Why the hell? Why did you get this way, Majiro? You're coping using your notebook. You found some new interests. What's what a Misahiro's paintings mean to that? You look like you were having the time of your life. You're right. I did enjoy it. That's why you couldn't bear to be away from it. And so I never wanted to lose it. Those memories didn't deserve to just be words on a flimsy piece of paper. Don't disappear on me. You can't leave my memories, Mirai. That's why I'm a punk with dyed hair. You don't go to school much. No friends either. Of course, nobody needs me. No matter what I do, I'm just gonna die soon. Seems like there's no point. Except... You were at the hospital, you overcame your disorder just to come talk to me. Every time I've popped into your room since, you've looked super glad. And you invited me to that exhibit. All that made me pretty happy. I might not care about myself, but I was happy to be needed by somebody. So if you'll be satisfied killing me here, then sure, whatever. This is such a twisted logic. I can I get the touchiness of it, but at the same time it's such a twisted logic. Maybe I'd stay in people's memories better, that way versus dying alone from illness. But... It's a blind, yeah? Huh? Ain't you suffering? You don't really want to keep pain like that around forever. It's the fun times you don't want to forget, right? So is there really a point? You just... You gonna just forget the fun stuff and keep the pain with you forever? That's... I mean... Sheesh, for real. I ain't gonna stop ya. Do what you want. If you wanna kill me, do that. I won't resist. But if it makes you suffer so that much, I think the notebook's a better choice. I'm not wrong. It's the only way to keep those memories. I'm not wrong! Oh, God. We continue our ongoing report on Mashiba the Hospital Serial Murders. There have been a total of three victims within the past month, yet the case remains shrouded in mystery. Other than all the victims being either patients or employees at Mashiba Hospital, there have been few clues as to... Y you! Michiro, why are you in this room? You... you... Well then, I've got to put you back to sleep. It'd be a real problem if you remember the truth, Michiro. It's okay, Michiro. Whatever I do, you won't remember anything tomorrow. You only feel scared and hurt for a moment. I'll put you to sleep quickly. Today's Banlo Machiru ends here. In a way, we're both twisted, really. You. It's too late. I've remembered everything. What? I've been slowly searching each day for clues around the house, and I got back my memories at the hospital. These are memories I won't forget even without my notebook. That's inconceivable! For a year now, you've been left unable to keep any memories for more than a day, right? As long as it's not in the notebook, you shouldn't be able to remember anything. That's wrong. I've been having dreams of it. Here comes the Kadangan Rampa Phoenix Wright music for the realization. 
Too bad the realization's terrible and French tragic. That memory's up to now. And what I've done. It's a reality I like to turn away from. And yet... I can't make it so it never happened. Listen, you. You need to stop this. I'm going to describe to you the events I remember at the hospital. The whole of Mashiba Hospital serial murders from start to finish. And if I'm correct, then let's end this. Alright. Go ahead and try, Machiro. See if you can tell me the truth of a year you couldn't possibly remember. Oh god, it is like Danganronpa. Uncover the truth. Remember the events one at a time and look back at the truth of this case. If you made this far, there's nothing to fear. The only way is forward. Let's start at the beginning. What was the cause of my memory disorder? Car accident. No, it's a conspiracy by the NHK. No, but no, seriously, it's a car accident. Right. A year ago, I lost my parents in a car accident and suffered a head injury. It was a fateful day, all right. For me and especially for you. That's what gave me my memory disorder. From then on, I stopped making new memories. What happened to me after my injury? I was put in Mashiba Hospital. To have my injury treated, I was put in Mashiba Hospital. But the only memories I've recalled have been between now and three months ago. Before that, I had no memory notebook. And probably half of those forgotten days were spent in comatose state. Yeah. You slept for about half a year after the accident. It's been never three months all hollow. But those aren't what what's important. This case began three months ago. So what happened three months ago? I started the memory notebook. Yes, I began my notebook because... Nurse Takahashi recommended it. Nurse Takahashi recommended it. To remember Mirai. To remember who Mirai was. That little thing is what kicked it off. Nine months after the accident, he finally started trying to recover. Now I fumbled with it. With this, I can make memories once more. Next two months ago, what happened? Seeing blight. Yes, I encountered that painting. Painting? The reason for that was... The painter Hinohara. I met a painter named Hinoha Mr. Hinohara and was captivated by Ms. Mishiro's paintings. My notebook really started to fill up after that. It was a very happy time. Yep, they even said you might be let out soon. But that's why. I feared losing my memory. I couldn't accept just a memory notebook anymore. I wanted to keep these people in my mind. So when I saw Blight, by an artist who also had memory loss, its message about loss being an eternal poison hit me hard. I see. I thought you seemed somehow odd since the day we went to that exhibit. So that one painting had that much of an effect on you. I never even considered. And what happened a month ago? The serial murders. Yes. The Mashiba Hospital serial murders occurred. The victims were Miss Takanashi, Mr. Hirnahara, and people precious to me, of course, because because the sorrow of loss stays with you as an eternal poison. You really twisted that logic really bad. I'm just gonna say that. That's right. They killed in the Mashiba Hospital serial murders. Was it culprit the nurse, Kaede Takanashi? No. You're gonna go through all of them, aren't you? Was it coupled with the painter, Seiichi Hinohara? No. Was it coupled with Mirai Orihara? No. Was it coupled with my brother, Yu Orihara? No.
was the culprit. Michiro Orihara. Yes. Break. Right. I destroyed the things I loved myself. And that pain, that poison, that sin, was etched into my soul. That was it. That's what happened. That was the Mashiba Hospital serial murders. I remembered it all. Stop it, Michiru. You have a memory disorder. You should just forget things like that. You lost your mother and father and got this disorder. I know you're tired. I can't, you. Ms. Takanashi, who was so kind to me. Mr. Hunohara, who taught me about art. My only friend after the accident, Mirai. I can't make it so it never happened. I can't. So I poisoned myself with them. This poison will never go away. I have to carry that burden. I promise you, this is the end of all this. No secrets. So now it's your turn. Tell me what happened after the incident, from me leaving the hospital to today. Why did I forget killing three people and live at home like nothing happened? I sheltered you. Just after your final criminal act. After you attacked Mirai Orihara. By chance I went up to the hospital roof and witnessed the crime. At the time I had no idea why you had done such a thing. Why I suppose the murders were your doing. I... I... Mirai, I... You were in a daze. You didn't look right in your mind. So I cleaned up at the scene and I disposed of your earlier notebooks. I feel like it would have been really hard hiding this murder, but you know it's a game. Later, the police and reporters came along, but because of your disorder and concern for your health, you weren't questioned much. And before long, you were dismissed from the hospital. You and I came back home. You were calm, but you were still spacing out, like your mind was still distant. As you said, I guess your murder surpassed your faulty memory to stay in the back of your mind. So starting then, I decided to control and cleanse your memory. Cleanse? Yeah. One, I wouldn't let you go outside or get any outside information. Two, I tried to weaken the memories of that day by putting you in a boring daily routine. Three, I observed your memory notebook and erased anything suspicious you wrote. I did that every day since you left the hospital. The murder weapon that I kept, thinking it might be found if I discarded it. The bloody shirt from when I cleaned up the scene on the hospital roof. The thorough research I did on the three victims to be sure the police couldn't trace you. In the end, it all backfired on me. So that was it. But that means, you took on the crime of harboring me. I was desperate too. If you got caught, you lose the only family you had left, you know. I'm sorry, Michiro. I guess I just wasn't enough to satisfy you with your memory disorder. If I'd been a better brother, I bet you wouldn't feel so lonely. I'm really sorry. Why did I forget? Because I took him being there for granted. I thought the memory notebook was my world and effectively my only ally. But even back then, when I was comatose, didn't my brother support me? So even if I lost my notebook, wouldn't my brother always at my side help me as much as I needed? I should be sorry. I only thought of myself. I wasn't thinking of Miss Takanashi or Mr. Hinahara or Mariah or you. I just panicked about losing my memory. I forgot the people who supported me and put a blight on my life. I was so foolish. It must have hurt them all. I'm sorry. Mr. Takanashi, Mr. Hinohara, Mirai. I'm so sorry. Three days later. 
You and I chose to turn ourselves in. I was wondering if they're gonna do that. If would have felt kind of wrong if they just decided to shove it under the rug. We don't intend to run from our crimes. Even if they were from temporary insanity, they were absolutely my crimes. But before that, you told me there was someone he wanted me to meet. Maybe it's the artist? I think we are floating off the ground. No, it's just the way the graphics work. Maybe? This is... It might be a painful place for you. But I think it's the best place. Hey, Michiru. When you attacked Miss Mirai Orihara here, I said I cleaned up the scene. But think about it. Somebody would come up here sometime. There'd be no time to escape anywhere. Yeah, I did, I did actually consider that. Well, sure. I had a collaborator. Someone who helped conceal your crime. Collaborator? No way. Then why was there three deaths? Yo, maybe it was just three attacks? Me, Mirai. Ain't a ghost. Michiro, you stabbed her. But that was it. She was the only one you stopped before killing. I don't know why, but I'm sure. At that last moment, maybe you realized your mistake and decided to stop. After I got shanked, I put up with my stomach, hurting like hell to talk to your bro. Then he put you to sleep and got away from the scene, and took the knife with him. Then I put on the act for the hospital peeps who came running up. Somebody stabbed me and you didn't see their face. You too, Mirai? Wait, you know I... I mean, you didn't kill me, yeah? You stopped short on your own. So you know, I wanted to help you. We're, uh, friends and all. Uh, okay, maybe that's pushing it. Light up a storm to the cops after that, too. Mirai, I'm glad. Really glad you're okay. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a small sweet part to an overall a kind of bitter ending. Because two people are still dead, and they're still turning themselves in. Hey, Michiru. What, you? About that picture. Blight. Yeah? I saw it too. With the explanation and all. I think this is what it's talking about? Huh? Hmm? Mr. Siro Isua definitely put it in there. The regret she felt towards her memories. She spit it all out into the painting, so that she wouldn't look back anymore. So we, and you, will atone for our sins and live with them. So I'm sure we can start anew. Yeah. No doubt, I'll continue to suffer for my poisons. Tomorrow's me well too, and the me after that. But even knowing that it'll be internal, I'll put them in me myself. Even if it's poison, they're precious memories. Until the day I can fully atone, those three months of poison will make me suffer. And I'll keep dreaming of that blight. So that's the end. A uh, little bit of a quirky ending. It has a kind of weird mixture of uh, bitterness because, you know, two people died and everyone got stabbed. So there's still kind of a terrible crime committed here and still a bit of an issue there. But then it has kind of a little sweet part where the one character's still alive and there's hope 
a redemption after, you know, eventual jail time. Uh, so I'm, I'm mostly, I'm all over the place for this ending. But, anyway, an overall solid game. The concept of kind of sneaking around and everything, and trying to find clues while avoiding your brother. It didn't come up too much in my playthrough, I think I got really lucky with the RNG. Uh, it's not always that way, like, it's not scripted that way, trust me. From one time I reloaded one time, uh, uh they, 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 he did change positions based on different areas, so I just got lucky. But the concept is really cool. Obviously, the limits of the engine kind of not let it go, doesn't let you go too crazy with it, which is a little too bad, but, uh, I like the game overall. It's a bit cliche at parts, so you can kind of see the ending coming to the point where I, I was hoping, actually, there was going to be a happy ending. And kind of blow the red herrings out of the war, like everything was just completely normal and we were just being paranoid. That would have been interesting. But the way it was done wasn't that bad either. It just, um, like I said, it's kind of like, I, I rate this game about a solid. Not amazing. Did some interesting things. Had a little too many cliches. Like, blank Kareem a little bit better. But yeah, that's it for my opinion. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Blight Dream. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.